We're gonna go to campaigns, because this is where you wanna go to create a new campaign. And really you set up the campaigns based on like the type of business you're working with and what their goals are. So if it's a small local business that is, let's say a service business that provides like HVAC installation or repair, um, they're probably looking to get more phone calls and customers within a local area, so people searching for those keywords for services. Um, so if you go to campaigns, this blue button says create a campaign, and you can go to new campaign, and then you choose what type of campaign you want to run. And so Google kind of gives you objectives here, like do you just want more traffic, branding and awareness, local store visits, app promotion, leads so for local service businesses um, they're either gonna want like leads like forms or phone calls I like to use the custom campaign because then you can see the campaign type so search campaigns would be like your ads showing up on Google search performance max are like you know putting your ads pretty much everywhere to get the most exposure which could get you leads and branding and traffic. Displays usually like visual ads on other websites like YouTube and blogs. Shopping are those shopping ads, like if you search for like makeup or a new bicycle, they'll show up at the top of Google with an image and price. Videos, YouTube ads, pretty self-explanatory. App ads are using like the Google Play Store for the most part. Smart ads, these are ads that typically use like either your website or your Google My Business listing and you, they're quick and easy to set up, which is the one that I already set up. Local ads are like if you wanna drive retail foot traffic, uh, pretty cheap cost per clicks and discovery ads are just kinda of like branding ads all over the internet. We're gonna go with search ads. And it's gonna ask you about conversion tracking goals. And you wanna make sure like these are working um, so we would want to, you know, make sure we have Google Tag Manager set up and connected with Google Analytics and make sure Google Analytics is set up and linked to this account so we can check on Google Analytics and the linked accounts. But we'll go through this setup first. Uh, the main goal is you can understand if the keywords and ads are working if you have conversion tracking set up. So that way you can kind of have a good comparison if, if the leads are actually working or not. So you can always come back to these conversion actions and, and fix them. So we're gonna hit continue. I'm gonna say we'll focus on phone calls. And so you just wanna make sure we get the right phone number. I don't think he has a different phone number for anything HVAC related. Which he probably should get along with maybe a separate Google My Business. Um, and then I name the campaign. So I'd call this one HVAC search. Um, and then I'd probably put phrase match for the, the match type that I want to run. Actually, HVAC local search, phrase match. And then sometimes you can, you know, name it MD or, you know, so you know if it's your campaign versus somebody else's. So we're gonna start this new campaign. Something important here is you can set a target cost per action, like how much you wanna to spend to get a lead or conversion, but we don't have enough conversion data in history to set that yet. So we're probably gonna focus on just getting clicks. And you can set a maximum cost per bid. Um, the search network, include search partners. So search partners are like the other search platforms Google owns, like it doesn't even give you the list here, but there's like a bunch of small search, you know, websites like Ask Jeeves and some of those old school ones. We don't want those, we want just Google. We do not want the display work network. This is just gonna waste a lot of money. This is like putting his, this would put his like text ads that we create on websites talking about like you know, heating and cooling and all that type of stuff. Gotcha. We're gonna choose for a location. I typically do like a radius 
And you can add a couple different radiuses. You can do like 100 miles or 2 miles. And you can bid more or less on those target areas, which is kind of neat. Language, languages, we're just going to choose English. Audience segments, we don't need to worry about this for now because it's, it's really just people searching. A campaign can be split between multiple ad groups. And then it'll give us keywords that it suggests that we use by ent entering the landing page in like an example keyword. And you can always go back and add more and remove some and see which ones are getting clicks and impressions and add, remove, do all those things. You want to use a lot of these keywords within the ad itself too. So we're going to take this landing page here. And you usually want to make sure the landing page is set up with conversion tracking, like if somebody fills out a form or calls directly from that page. It's good to know because you can see which keyword and ad that it came from. So I'll put the final URL where we want to send traffic. Um, you know, put in some of these keywords here. So now we, these are called responsive search ads because Google just let you used to run a bunch of different type of search ads in the past, but they're just trying to make it simplified. So they'll take a variation of these headlines and descriptions to create ads based on like the exact keywords people are searching and what they think people are most likely to click. So now we'll add just some headlines manually and you know from the suggestions here. And then you just hit done and then you can add another one. Sometimes I like to do this though. So I'm just gonna go to next and it gives you previews if you clicked on that ad. Then you wanna add extensions. You can do call out extensions to like add keywords below the ad, call extensions to make sure your phone number is listed. Image extensions, that's what I usually ask you for, like those designs that are usually like square and rectangle images to add to the campaign. So you wanna add those. Uh, they can literally just be like photos or images or Canva designs. Site links are other things that might be related to this campaign, like create new site link, call out extensions, these are just like text you can add. Then it recommends a daily budget. Uh, I'm just going to set it at like $23 for now. We're trying to have him spend $30 a day. So I like to start the campaigns a little higher just to see if they spend and then like kind of gradually lower them down. Uh, it's also saying we should add image extensions, which I brought up to you. So here it gives, you, gives us the campaign and review, what kind of bidding type, what kind of goals we're going after, what networks we're targeting, location, ad schedule, keywords, ads, all those things. You'll hit publish campaign.